in five, Nathan Hudson of Pembroke Hall, with a time of 101.95 seconds. In lane six, you have Tyreek Brady from Mona Heights, 102.30 seconds. In seven, you have Kaif Gordon of George Headley, 105.03, and Dante Hemmings of Red Hills, 104.38 seconds. You have to look out for Cunningham of Windward Road, and also there is Donalds of St. Jude's in three, and Hudson of Pembroke Hall in five. It's a clean start though, but you have to look in lane six. Brady of Mona Heights gets out well. Also, there is Hemmings of Red Hills. That is a top two. Making the wave in lane three, Donalds of St. Jude's is also there ahead of Donalds. is Cunningham of Windward Road. Cunningham, he's in the light blue on the back stretch, holding down his head with about 250 meters to go. Cunningham settles in second, but based on the stagger, he has moved past Hemmings of Red Hills, who is in lane eight. So Cunningham of Windward Road is all alone. He's cruising around into the home stretch, but the field is catching up. So Cunningham, feeling the presence of the entire field, is starting to now pivot and puts a foot on the gas. So it is Cunningham. He's all alone, holding down his head, fighting the breeze on the inside of Cunningham. It does. Who is in second? He's from St. Jude's. But Windward Rose Cunningham, he will take the boys class one for 100 meters. Stops the clock at 59.94 seconds. That is the flash time. 1 minute 00 0.03 is the official time. Donalds of St. Jude's is second. It was close for third. But Cunningham of Windward Road getting the gold in the boys class one for 100 meters. The record of 55.26 was not challenged. I don't think it would have been this afternoon. Next event on the track is at 300 meters. So the next event on track, the 300 meters, is for the girls. So we see some coaches there, but you're not seeing them on your screen though. But if you look in the crowd, or look in the stands, you see a lot of coaches from respective schools in the stands doing, doing some recruiting or looking on the upcoming talent to see if they can fit into their respective system at their respective secondary institution. All schools across the island, they come to these meets to see who they can recruit. Even from Clarendon, you'd be surprised on aspects of the island though. Here we have the Eastern at the completion of the Eastern. We journey to the Central as Monday through to Wednesday. Then right after the Western at Stets. At Central we held at GC Foster College. And then the Western will be held at St. Elizabeth Technical High starting next Thursday and completing on, fr on Saturday, pardon me. So a lot of action. You'll start with the Eastern first and then with the Central at GC Foster and then with the Western. So Eastern, Central and Western. And then you have the All-Island Championship and that comes up in the latter stages. To be exact. 25th through to the 27th of this month. The 25th through to the 27th of this month. And this is a qualifying to that round. Now how it works is that the finalist from the Eastern finalist, from the Western in all events, finalist from the Central, so that leaves 24. But they won 32. So what they do though, they find the next eighth, next best fastest times. And all 32 will go to the national stadium for the all or the national championship held 25th through through the 27th. I'll tell you again before the next event. The finalist right here at the Eastern and the finalist at Central and also at Western that's 24 for all events. So 8 in the final. So that's 24 plus the next 8 fastest times from all 3 competitions will go make up 32. So those competitors will be at the national at the National Stadium, 25th to 27th, those will qualify and they'll, those events will make it into a semi-final. So you'll have four semi-finals and then 
the winners and the f next best times advance through to the final. So at the national championship, you have the heats will be at semi-final and the winner of respective semi-finals advances automatically and then you go, the rest go by times. So if you don't understand, we'll do it, say it again later on as the next event coming up is the girls class 2 300 meters 45.52 seconds is the record held by ashley allen so brianna bennett of rousseau is in one qualify of the time of 47.66 seconds you have keshawn bygrave of rock hall in two 47.70 seconds shamara lee of seaforth in three 47.24 seconds. Ashley Allen of License, she's in four. 46.56 seconds. You have Odena Crary of John Mills in five. 47.15 seconds. In six, Tiandra Watson of License, with a time of 47.24 seconds. In lane seven, Masanya Martin of Halfway Tree, 48.15 seconds. And in lane eight, Tiffany Lines of Red Hills, 47.57 athletes on their marks. You have to look so out for Allen of license. So the gun has sent them away. Great start it is from Lee of C4. She is in lane three. On the outside of Lee is Allen of license. And moving well away from Allen is Creary of John Mills. The career of John Mills with the blue and gold socks is the 200 meters mark, but gaining somewhat on the inside of Creary is Allen. Allen and Creary both have tried to carry the field in the home stretch. One of the favorites we mentioned before in lane four of license, Allen. Allen carries the field in the home stretch. Allen with a slight advantage, trying to pull away. Now trying to sneak through on the inside is Lee. Lee is coming again on the inside. Allen is holding off the pack, but here comes Lee. Lee on the inside, goes by Allen. Lee takes the head of Allen, 45.45 seconds. That is a flash time, 45.54 for Lee. Lee takes the top spot. She is from Seaforth ahead of Allen from Lysis, who finished second. 45.54 seconds for Lee. In second is Allen. And in third should be Crary of John Mills. 45.76 seconds for Allen. In second, 45.76. And Crary is third. 46.22 seconds. First, second, and third in the girls' class two, 400 meters. It's now time for the boys. So in lane one, Amari Williams from New Providence, 46.64 seconds. You have the Nero Williams from Mona Heights in two, 46.92. Aaron Wall from Desiree Paul, 44.69 seconds. In four, Daniel Glaves, Red Hills, 43.19. In five, Chidane Gale of License, 43.70. In six, Jeremiah's then of St. Richard's, 46.35 seconds. Tariq Crary of Swallowfield is seven, 47.30. And in lane eight, Ashmar McLaughlin from License, 46.49. And Crary's time was 47.50. Last two boys, 300 meters. Have to big up Devon Biscuits, title sponsor for this event. Eastern, Western, and also the Central. We saw in lane three, the war of Jesse Paul was not sure what he wanted to do. That time of 44.69 seconds though, in the set position, he was stretching his bat leg too much, seen by the starter. And it's a clean start for the boys, class two, 300 meters. So going well is it Gale of license. Gale goes out well. Also moving well is War of Jesse Paul. No, it is the man called Gale of License. He has a major advantage in the home stretch. Not trying to reel him in. It is Red Hills Glaives. 
It's a Gale and Glaives that's first and second at the present time. So it is the man from license Gale with a slight advantage. He's fired through the breeze, but coming on the inside is Glaives of Red Hills with 50 meters to go. It is Glaives on the inside with a momentous finish. Glaives on the inside, he takes it ahead of Gale. Glaives, Gale, and finishing in third, War of Jester Paul. 42.44, 42.53 seconds. That's a new record for Glaives of Red Hills. 42.53 seconds. This is for Glaives. Daniel is his first name. Jadane Gale of Lysis, he was second. 42.72 seconds. And in third was War of Jester Paul. 43.75 seconds. Non-stop action at Stadium East with the Inspores Devon Biscuit Eastern Region Primary Championships. Wow, what a performance there from Glaives and Gale. That was special, that was spectacular. A strong finish by the favorite Glaives. But Gale went out extremely hard on that back stretch and whirlwind off the bed into the home stretch you could say slingshot but it held up it's a negative breeze here set up east extremely windy and it's difficult for the young athletes to fight that breeze because sometimes a negative four sometimes a negative three uh just seeing the medal ceremony Medal ceremony. So Kayla Lewis from John Mills getting the gold. The Garfield Robinson of Observer taking the pictures. So a lot of media houses are here also. So the next event is the 60 meters after the completion of the 4 and 300 meters. So the next event is the 60 meters. It's a world wind. And right after that will be the 100 meters. So. As we get ready, it's an interesting afternoon, though. We want an update to the point standings. We're going to get it very soon. But well, let me give you the one that we have. So, to top 10, the point standings coming into today. On the girls' side, in 10th was Lawrence Tavern with 8 points. In 9th, New Providence with 10 points. In 8th or so, they had 13 points. In 7th, John Mills with 14 points. In 6th, St. Richard's with 15 points. In 5th, Halfway Tree with 22 points. In 4th, Windward Road with 23 points. In 3rd, St. Patrick's with 25 points. In 2nd, Harborview with 53 points and in first license with 59 points those are the point standings coming into the third and final day here at stadium east on the boys side top 10 well start from 11th well dalvi in 11th with nine points in eighth you have rousseau st jude's and red hills all having 10 points under their belts respectively in sixth pembroke hall and st patrick's both having 12 points apiece in fifth Lawrence Tavern with 14 points in third halfway tree and Windward Road with 16 points apiece in second license with 38 points and in first harbor view they have 45 points that's on the boys side combined and top 10 and in ninth position in ninth they have John Mills Pembroke Hall with 16 points apiece in eighth St. Richards with 18 points in seventh Lawrence Tavern with with we'll tell you in a very short one 22 points in sixth Rousseau they have 23 points in fifth St. Patrick's 
with 37 points. In fourth, Halfway Tree with 38 points. In third, Windward Road, 39 points. In second, a license with 97 points. And in first, Harbour View, they have 98 points overall. Latest point stand is coming into today. However, I think that has changed. So the next event is a 60 meters. This is class four girls, 60 meters. And the ladies are out. And the boys are right behind. Jada Thompson of Constance Spring in a time of 10 seconds flat is in one. You have Akimi Plummer of Rock Hall in two, 10.02 seconds. Taisha Chong of St. Jude's in three, 9.92 seconds. In four, Sanja Kirkpatrick of Alpha, 9.71. In lane five, Angelica Spike of Lysis, 9.88 seconds. In six, you have Kathania Roberts of License, 9.81 seconds. In seven, Tiana Hazel of Winnard Road, 9.95 seconds. And in lane eight, Antonia Lindsay of Halfway Tree, 9.91 seconds. This is the first of two 60 meters, class four. The girls and then the boys. So this is interesting though. Half a tree fans are out. You hear they have been very vocal here using respective horns, cheering on their athletes. The parents are here. Athletes on their marks. Record here is 9.55 seconds. Great start it was for Kirkpatrick. Kirkpatrick goes ahead, ahead of Spike on the outside. But it's going to be Kirkpatrick. 9.38 seconds for Kirkpatrick. Does that sound? That's a new record. 9.38 is a flash time for Kirkpatrick. She represents Alpha Primary. 9.39 seconds. That is a new record for Kirkpatrick. So Sandra Kirkpatrick finishing in that top spot. Spike of Lysis was second, 9.55 seconds. It was close for third, but Kirkpatrick of Alpha taking the girls' class four, 60 meters. So it's no time for the class four boys. In lane one, Justin Porter, John Mills, 9.60. In two, Daniel Carter of Swallow Field, 9.68 seconds. Now, Justin Richards of Red Hills was in three, 9.63. Now, was, is in three. Chadwick Senior, St. Patrick's, 9.48 seconds. So, we can read of Alpha, 9.52 seconds. Nathan Levy of Harbour View, 9.55 seconds in six. And Karif Brown of Windward Road in seven, 9.67. And in lane 8, Vaughn Thompson of license, 9.59. Athletes on their marks. Boys class 4, 60 meters final. Great start though. This in lane 1. It is a Foster. Now going through. In lane 4 is Cena. Cena now takes control. And Cena on the inside was close between Cena and Porter. Wow. Cena and Porter. That was close. Between Porter of John Mills. So Chadwick Senior takes the top spot. So 9.26 for Chadwick Senior of St. Patrick's. He gets the gold. And Porter of John Mills is second. 9.26 for Senior. Chadwick, his first name from St. Patrick's. Second was Porter of John Mills. 9.39 seconds for Porter of, say, of John Mills. First and second, it was close for third, but gold, this to St. Patrick Silver to John Mills. Now it's time for the 100 meters. We 
just had the 60 meters. Class three, two and one on the boys and girls side. As we get ready for the next event on the track. And this is interesting though. You see the athletes and the youngsters fighting the breeze in that 60 meters. And the youngsters will have a, a torrid time in this 100 meters here. But guess what? It's all fun and games. It's all competition. It's all a challenge for these youngsters. And they're up for the task. Don't think they are not. They are ready. Rearing to go. Are the class one girls there? 400 meters. Class one girls, 400 meters. Non stop action. Uh, it's a beautiful day for track at the field. We said before negative wind, windy. It is. If you left your watch at the long jump area, please come for it. Young lady, if you left your watch at the long jump area, kindly come for it. So the 100 will take center stage though. Now three girls, Janoy Daly of St. Patrick's in one, had a qualifying time of 15.13. Yeah, Mikhail Parkinson for Windward Road in two, 15.22 seconds. Shania Jakes from Red Hills in three, 15.08 seconds. In four, Deja Segri, half a three, 14.63 seconds was our qualifying time. In five, you have Caris King of Lysis, 14.85 seconds. In six, you have Malika Brown of Harborview, 15.06 seconds was her qualifying time. Ariana Lewis, a half a three in seven, 15.78 seconds. And in eight, you have Marvina Francis of St. Francis, 15.18 seconds was her qualifying time. In sports, Devon Biscuit, all about the eastern end of the island. Regional primary championships happening at Salem East. This is the ground of Independence Park Limited. This is the ground which houses also the National Stadium, National Indoor Sports Center, the National Basketball Courts, Leela Robinson Courts, the Aquatics. But what's taking center stage right now and all of the grounds is right here at Stadium East. It's all about track and the field under the InSports umbrella sponsored by Devon Biscuit. It's all about the primary students and athletes taking center stage. The girls class three, 100 meters. Daly, Parkinson, Jakes, Segri, King, Brown, Lewis and Francis. The officials not happy with something as the stands filling up nicely here. Third and final day. Oh my word. We saw Parkinson and Jakes in lanes two and three respectively almost stumbling out. But still the officials are they're not harsh at all. Just having a word with the athletes again. Hopefully we can get them off now. Class three girls, 100. Oh, so someone broke before the gun was fired. And again, we see the officials will have a word with the athletes. I don't think it's hard and fast though, to be honest. Going over to lane three. Jakes of Red Hills. Let's have a quick word with her. Maybe she's a bit nervous. Uh, 
Oh, again, not for the first time, the second time. I'm feeling a little bit thirsty though, to be honest. Wouldn't mind a bottle of, of Sky Water, one of the sponsors of uh, this meet. And you drink that water, feel like you're in the clouds. So big up to Sky Water. And the noise and the horns, we know. And they have the quiet for the start though, to be honest. It's good to cheer. And because the long jump is going on, not on your screen right now. So they're cheering on. So the noise you hear is not for the 100, but for the competitors in the long jump area. So again, the officials having a word with the girls class 3, 100 meters. Let's hopefully we can get them off at the same time. Daly, Parkinson, Jiggs, Sigree, King, Brown, Lewis and Francis. And this time it's a clean start and this for King. King going out well. On the inside of King is Sigree. But now on the outside of King is Brown. Brown takes full control. Brown of Arborview. But it's close though. But I think though that Sigree came from half a tree. Sigree of half a tree came back. 14.32 seconds is the flash time. Segree from half a tree. It was King, Segree and Brown. Then Segree, I thought, took, took full control. She collapsed and she went over the finish line with a wheelchair and a short time is there. The medical team is there for a short time. So in terms of who seems like she's okay though, to be honest. They're exhausted. But Segree of half a tree, I thought, may have gotten it. But it was close between the top three with the official results. But the winning time is 14.35. So in lane one, you have Jaden Jameson of half a tree, 14.44. Boys cloud three, 100 meters, record 14.41 seconds. In two, you have Jamil Young of license, 14.44. You have Ricardo Copeland, New Providence, 14.42 seconds. You have Davir Walker from Lysis, a new record holder, 13.88 seconds. And uh, Khalil Hilton of Half a Tree, 14.33. You have Jordan Brissett of St. Richards in six, 14.37. In seven, you have Kai Kwan Burrell of Hope Valley, 14.53. And in lane eight, Cavani Walsh of Harbour View, 14.40 seconds that was his qualifying time half to look out in lane four for walker the favorite he is from license athletes on their marks and they're gonna ask him to stand up because seven and eight from burrell um, from hope valley and harbour view burrell and welsh respectively and you see the officials speaking to welsh of harbour view he almost tumbled over when everyone was in the set position you know, watching the live presentation here from the in sports Devon Biscuit Eastern Region Primary Championships at Stadium East. Once again for the boys, Cloud 3, 100 meters. This is the grand final. Gunn has sent them away. Great start it was for Walker of license. He is the favorite. He is a record holder. The young man Walker strolling, but on the outside of Walker is Brissett. But Walker walking away. Brissett is second, 13.80 seconds. For Walker, that is a flash time for the Vera Walker of Lysons. And in second should be Brissett of St. Richards. 13.84 seconds for Walker. The new record for the Goys Cloud 3, 100 meters. The Vera Walker, 13.84. And in second was Jordan Brissett of St. Richards. 14.15 seconds. But certainly the record breaker, the gold medal winner. The man they call Walker, first name Davir from license. He is the top of top man in that event. The boys class three, 100 meters, class three.
Next event on the track, the girls class 2-100. In lane one, Shanique Roberts of Rousseau with a qualifying time of 14.60 seconds. You have Abriana Hyatt of New Providence in two, 14.68 seconds. Kayana Constable of Windward Road in three, 14.18 seconds. You have Tayana Constable of Windward Road in four, 14.02. And then in five, you have Kalia Raymond of License, 14.05. In six, Ashley Montague from Red Hills, 14.41. In seven, Kalia Cena from License, 14.867. And Shamika Thomas of Rousseau in eight, 14.58 seconds. So, I said it before, big up to our sponsors, Devon Biscuit, also have the big up Skywater. Or the water at hand. Water sponsor here at the In Sports Eastern Devon Biscuit Trap Meat. Class two girls, 100 meters. You have to look out for the constables from Windward Road. And they're known that they're not police officers. But otherwise, who can spoil the Windward Road party? Because Raymond of License, who is in lane five, also blue. Constable in three and four, Windward Road, also in, they're in blue. And blue and red is a license in five under surname Raymond it may be a blue party here the girls class 2 100 meters final Gone has set in the way great start this for Keanu Constable she's in lane 3 but her sister Teana taken over Teana goes past the Constable then on the outside it is Raymond Raymond trying to pass the Constable crew but she is not successful because it's going to be Teana Constable ahead of Keanu Constable and Kalia Raymond in third 13.62 seconds is a new record. So Tayana Constable gets the gold with a new record of 13.62 seconds. Her sister, Kayana, 13.70 seconds for the silver. And in third from license was Raymond, Kalia Raymond, 13.78 seconds. Now the boys, class two. 100 meters in lane one Malik Brown of St. Jude's with a time of 14.58 seconds Shaheem Edwards of Alpha in two 14.64 seconds in three you have Aaron Wall of Jess Ripple at a qualifying time of 13.78 seconds you have DeAndre Parker for so in four 13.67 Khalil Raymond of Lysis in five 13.76 in lane 6 Tariq Gon from Mona 14.16 in 7 yeah Kamanis Edwards of Holy Rosary 13.84 and in 8 Kaim Johnson of St. Patrick's class 2 boys 100 meters Mr. Athletes going into their respective blocks. Have to look out for Parker for so he's in four. And the gun has set them up. Not the greatest start for Parker on the outside of Parker's Raymond of license. But here comes Parker, the long legged Parker, going past Raymond. 
Parker in the red is a brilliant side. He's a big lad in class two. Parker, he gets the head of Raymond. Rousseau head of, of license. Parker head of Raymond in this boys class two, 100 meters, 12.35 seconds. This for DeAndre Parker, head of Khalil Raymond of license primary. 12.35, the official time in 13.38 seconds for Parker. In second is Khalil Raymond of license. His time not on the board. No, it comes. 13.41 seconds. Boys class two, 100 meters final. So the next event on the track is the girls. Class one, 100 meters. Hopefully we'll give you the point standings very soon. As we get them, we give it to you. At the end of the 100 meters will be a luncheon interval or luncheon break. And we'll resume at 120 with 800 meters. During that time, we may do some interviews. So the in sports, Devon Biscuit, Eastern Region Primary, track of the field championships. Ladies are coming out. Long jump going on, medal presentation will be happening very soon. And the girls class one, 100, will be out very soon. Has been a great three days of track and field here at Stadium East for this in sports, Devon Biscuit, Eastern Regional. This is a primary track and field championships. License, they are the defending champions on the eastern side, but at the end of day two, it was Harborview was the overall leader. License were leading the women and Harborview leading the men. And now you see the ladies in your picture. Adriana Harris of Seaforth in one at a qualifying time of 13.69 seconds. Now, Sienna Wilson of New Providence in two. 13.78 seconds was her qualifying time. Rihanna Scott of Rock Hall was 3. 13.26 seconds was her qualifying time. You have Shanique Reed of Harbour View. 13.15 seconds in 4. Then you have Chelsea Samuels of Halfway Tree in 5. So, Chelsea Samuels, Halfway Tree, it's spelled C H E L S E A N N. So, it's spelled like Sean. But Sian in six, 13.33 seconds. Now Shay J. Davis of St. Patrick in seven, 13.67. And Michaelia McDonald of Port Morant in eight, 13.56 seconds. So you see at the left side of your screen, the long jump, as I said before, going on the athletes now on your mask. They're getting ready for the girls' class one, 100 meters. And the god has set them away. You have to look for on Harbour View. That's Reed. Reed of Harbour View. But on the outside of Reed is Clark of St. Patrick's. Clark of St. Patrick's. 
Clark gets it ahead of uh, Summers of Halfway Tree. And then in third is Reed of Harbour View. 13.19 seconds for Clark of St. Patrick's. 13.19 seconds. That's a flash time. Official time is 13.24 seconds for Daniela Clark. A new record on the cards is girls' last one. 100 meters. Second was Summers of Harvey Tree. 13.30 seconds for Summers. And third was Reed of Harbor View. 13.55 seconds. First, second, and third in the girls' class one. 100 meters final. So the boys know class one coming up. Then he gives our view in one 13.51 was his time. Yeah, Mikhail Brown of George Henley 13.57. Daniel Buchanan of St. Jude's 13.17. He's in three. Daniel Douglas in four from halfway tree 12.58 seconds. In five, you have Amika Henselwood of Holy Rosary 12.91 seconds. In six, Arane Perkins Port Morant. 13.29 seconds and Jonathan Peter of George Head, he's in seven, 13.51 and Jaden Brown of Rousseau in eight, 13.31. Athletes on their marks. Have to look out for leads five and four. Hensawood from Holy Rose in five, Douglas half a tree in four. Perkins of Port Morant slipped out of his almost turned over or toppled over in the set position officials are having a word with the athlete and we know it can be difficult with the noise and the tension and the breeze and the crowd Gibbs Brown Buchanan Douglas Hensonwood Perkins, Peter, and Brown. So athletes on their marks. Have to look out for Douglas and Hensonwood. Great start for Douglas. He is in the red vest. On the inside of Douglas is McCann of St. Jude's. But now Hensonwood takes over. Hensonwood just ahead of Douglas. Hensonwood and Douglas goes towards the line. I think that Hensonwood gets it ahead of Douglas. Hensonwood of Holy Rosary. Omiko is his first name ahead of Donald Douglas of Halfway Tree. 12.86 seconds. So Omiko Hensonwood, 12.86 seconds. Gets it ahead of Douglas of Halfway Tree. A close finish for first and second, but Hensonwood got it on the line. 12.86 seconds for Hensonwood. No time on the board just yet for Douglas. No Douglas times come. 12.87 for Douglas of Halfway Tree. And in third should be Buchanan of St. Jude's. But 12.87 seconds for Douglas of Halfway Tree. And the young man from St. Jude's as Buchanan. His time not on the board just as yet. As we wait, his time. 12.87 per second. And for third. But Cannon, that's Douglas time we're seeing. We're not seeing third just yet. It was close between the three though, to be honest. But hence the wood came on late, did not get a great start at all. And got by the duo on his inside of a cannon of Douglas and got the better of Douglas on the line. So Hensonwood gets the goal, the boys class one. 100 meters final from Holy Rosary in second, Douglas of Halfway Tree getting the silver and the bronze going the way of Buchanan of St. Jude's. So gold, silver and bronze as there'll be some medal presentation ceremonies happening left, right and center. In 29 position, so in 29th position, Constance Spring with one, George Headley next with two points. 26th, St. Aloysius and Yalas with four points. In 24th, Holy Rosie and Don Robin with five points. 23rd, Jesse Ripoll with six points. In 22nd position, St. Francis with eight points. 
in 21st position, Seaforth with nine points. Hope Valley for 19th with 10 points. In 17th, Rock Hall of Maranch Bay with 13 points. In 16th position, Alpha with 14 points. In 15th position, Dalve with 15 points. In 14th position, with 16 points. In 13th position, Mona Heights with 20 points. In 12th, St. Jude's with 22 points. In 11th, New Providence with 23 points. In 10th, Rousseau with 25 points. In 9th, Lawrence Tavern with 29 points. In 8th, Red Hills, 33 points. In 6th, St. Richard's, Admin Road Road with 57 points. In 5th position, St. Patrick's with 59 points. In 4th, Halfway Tree with 66 points. In 3rd, John Mills with 68 points. In 2nd, Harbour View with 143 points. And the leaders, the defending champions, license. And 174 points are stepping away from Harbour View. 143 to 174. And uh, you see them celebrating in the fans. You know they're from license. They are celebrating. License, they are the defending champion coming into the third and final day in second. And now they have gone back to the top of the pinnacle. And they want to continue on that path. The stands filling up nicely. And more medal presentation will be happening. Uh, and then we have the luncheon interval now, basically. And then after that, we go back to the relays. So Mrs. just Brown. the action will be toned down somewhat and then next action on the track. I mean there's still action in the field. Over the 800 meters that comes up at 120 this afternoon. So we have a, a little while to go before the next event on the track. So hopefully we can give you some interviews during that time. And give you an updated point standings and some official results.
The In Sports Devon Biscuits Primary Schools Athletic Series is back and hotter than ever. May 46, Stadium East comes to life as Eastern teams battle for supremacy. May 8 to 10, Central teams take center stage at GC Foster College. May 11 to 13, we go west at Stets. And then the grand final. May 25 to 27, the National Junior Athletics Championships at the National Stadium. The In Sports Devon Biscuits Primary Schools Athletic Series. Pride, passion, determination, success. Sponsored by.
The In Sports Devon Biscuits Primary Schools Athletic Series is back and hotter than ever. May 46, Stadium East comes to life as Eastern teams battle for supremacy. May 8 to 10, Central teams take center stage at GC Foster College. May 11 to 13, we go west at Stets. And then the grand final, May 25 to 27, the National Junior Athletics Championships at the National Stadium. The In Sports Devon Biscuits Primary Schools Athletic Series, pride, passion, determination, success. Sponsored by...
Medal presentation for the London Open for girls. Medals being presented. Welcome back here at Stadium East. This for the third and final day of the InSports Devon Biscuits Eastern Regional Primary School Track and Field Championships. I'm Sean Grant and with me actually, you're not seeing me in the picture and that's a great thing at the present time because beauty is where the heart is and beauty is where the camera is, I should say. Uh, not only beauty with the individual but what's behind the individual. But before, we're going to speak to the individual, that's Shereen Brand, um, brand manager here at Devon Biscuit. A special good day to you. Hi, good afternoon. Thank you for having me. Are you enjoying the day first and foremost? Yes, it's a beautiful day. The sun is just right and we're just happy to be here. It's the first time I've been to Stadium East and a person is saying that the sun is just right. I have never heard that before. I've been coming here for years, but the sun is just right. But, but right. I'm, <laughs> Devon Biscuit, track of the field in sports. How did that combination actually come about? Okay, so Devon Biscuits, we recognize the importance to support, encourage, and to encourage the student athletes, and thus Devon Biscuits has decided to partner with InSports. That is a major, major decision, though, to be honest, because I know InSports, they're looking for a partner, and you came on board late, uh, is it late or just on, uh, in time? Okay, so we partnered with them last year. We came on board with $500,000 and this year we came on board as the title sponsor. So hold on, last year? No, you give me a figure for last year. What about the figure for this year? Okay, so for the figure for this year, our investment is over $9 million. For the next three years or next year or for one year? So for this year's, this year's investment is over $9 million and we've signed a three-year contract with InSports. And every year it will be $9 million or it will actually escalate to grow after that? Well, there's a possibility for an increase. Um, we'll just have to review and then with InSports, they're really awesome to work with. It's been a pleasure and we look forward to a fulfilling partnership. $9 million of sponsorship, that is a major, major sponsorship for any event, especially of one of this kind, which actually harness and um, unearth a lot of talent across the island. But let me ask you this much, $9 million, how is that going to be spent though? Um, is it spent on products, spent on direct sponsorship towards in sports? Yes, that's correct. So the $9 million also, well, the breakdown is in sports receives $7 million from that. Um, 1.3 from that $9 million goes to the student athletes. So we'll be giving cash prizes, um, regional championship, top boy and top girl. So for each regional champion, we'll walk away $250,000. A top boy will walk away $50,000, top girl $50,000. Each coach from the top school will also receive $10,000. One day, we can go turn an athlete now and go back in the days. I mean, a little bit too old for that, though. But but speak about Devon Biscuits, though, to be honest. I mean, a lot of persons have heard about it, but there are few who haven't heard about it. But just highlight what Devon Biscuit is all about. Okay, so Devon Biscuits is about showcasing the best products, um, the best biscuits from, you know, the chocolate digestives or big four a digestive snack. Um, we've been in Jamaica, we've been distributing in Jamaica for the past 27 years and we're happy to be here. We're happy to give back, we're happy to support the track and field in Jamaica and we're just happy to help to, well, to assist in unearthing Jamaica's talents. So I want to Devon, what kind of products do you have? Can you never tell me some of the products? I'm, I, I'm, not, I'm not great with biscuit. I eat, I eat Devon biscuit, but I'm not great with biscuit. But you ever tell me some more, man? I'll tell me what kind of products you guys okay, have. So we do have the products to encourage the smiles in every bite, or as our tagline reads, smiles in every bite. So today we have the digestive snack, which is a wheat meal cookie. We have Hold on, show it, man. Today, show it good enough so the man can see it. Snack, which is our wheat meal cookie. It's perfect with coffee or tea. Um, we do have the Big Four, which is our flagship brand for this event. Um, we've sponsored all the four events, um, the 400 meters, the 4 by one and also all the 800 meters as well. We also have the Chocolate Digestive, which is everyone's favorite. This is the perfect cookie in the purple pack. And we're here, it's all free. If you, you can come on by our booth, by Stadium East, and it's all free, you can help yourself. And we do have baseball caps for all the officials that we're giving today. So baseball caps are free also, but yes. that's only to the officials? Only to the officials and the kids, they also get receive premiums. So upon crossing the finish line, each winner for each event, they receive a goodie bag. It has the best products, um, their branded pencils, their pencils and they're also keychains. So each kid will walk away with best snacks and also 
water bottles to help with rehydration and refreshments. Let's go back to what you said earlier regarding rega no, no 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 regarding to the biscuit and it's free. So, so so anybody can come down here actually and um, just pick up a biscuit if, if there, any amount. And well, there <laughs> is a limit, but we're not gonna say okay, you're not supposed to have it. So you can tell us your preference, and then my lovely ladies, they will assist you. Your lovely ladies look serious about that, though. <laughs> oh, I wanted them couldn't smile. I wanted them couldn't smile at all. But yeah, um, they're here. Um, what are their roles, though? Okay, so they are Devon Biscuits brand ambassadors, and they've been here with me since Thursday, assisting with handing out the goodie bags, assisting with the medal presentation, and just assisting providing any questions, any queries, or anything that you'd have relating to Devon Biscuits. So they're working extremely hard behind the scenes. Yes, they are. So you, you remember their names? Uh, uh, you, remember, you, remember, you remember your own names? Uh, uh, no, uh, come on. Uh, what's your name? My name is Dina. Dina? Hi, I'm Gabrielle. Gabrielle? Come, come across, man. No, the, the camera don't want to see me. They don't want to see you. Come across. Hello, my name is Shadeen. Sh Shadeen? Why we talk? Dean so. So how has it been though the last couple of days here? It has been great. Um, we love working with the kids. We have met some children with some very interesting personalities and it's just great. Mm -hmm. Anybody ever tell you I've listened before? No. Oh, nobody ever tell you that before? Oh, don't make them tell you. Yeah? Don't make them tell you that. How has it been for you? It's come, come closer, man. So it's fine. It's good. I mean, the kids are awesome. Mm -hmm. They're so adorable. <laughs> Especially when they're running and stuff. Mm -hmm. so. so you're just enjoying it? Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not leaving you out. Mm -hmm. yeah. D, so, so how are you enjoying it? It's great. I love the kids. Mm -hmm. They're so nice. Continue. Yes, the kids are so sweet and yeah. I'm just enjoying everything. Yeah. All right, that, that's great though, and I'm, I'm glad that your staff loving what's happening. Yeah. I'm glad that you're loving what's happening, and the sponsorship is is actually enormous. And I think InSports is loving what's happening yeah. because to do a, a sponsorship like this is great. It's it's absolutely wonderful because you don't normally see entities like yourself go to the grassroots and sponsor uh, even a three-year deal yeah. with this amount. So that's great on your part. Yeah. Thank you. And the minister quoted on Thursday when we had the press conference that this is the biggest investment ever. So we're happy to be the title sponsor of the 41st staging of the InSports All Island Primary School Championships. Why well, you want to close out, Willie? Any last words before we go, though? All right, so thank you for having us. We're very happy. I want to say thank you to the directors of InSports. I want to say thank you to the Ministry of Entertainment, Culture and Sports. Um, I want to say thank you to my team. Um, their boss is Amaze. And also, it's, it's been a really, it's really a great pleasure and a great opportunity for us to be here as we've recognized the importance to support the future of Jamaica. Shereen Bryan, the brand manager here at Devon Biscuit. Um, continue to the great work that you're doing and to your crew i know it's windy i'll continue to be windy though but enjoy the rest of the day though and great work thank you thank you back up to you guys The InSports Devon Biscuits Primary Schools Athletic Series is back and hotter than ever. May 4 to 6, Stadium East comes to life as Eastern teams battle for supremacy. May 8 to 10, Central teams take center stage at GC Foster College. May 11 to 13, we go west at Stets. And then the grand final, May 25 to 27, the National Junior Athletics Championships at the National Stadium. The InSports Devon Biscuits Primary Schools Athletic Series. Pride, passion, determination, success. Sponsored by...
school girls. 300 meters presenting the medal, Shereen Bryan, brand manager, Devon Biscuit. The, so, the bronze medal, Tiandra Watson license, 46.22.
Stop right there. Hold it a second. Hold it. Say ladies, class two ladies, step back, step back. Are you through taking photos? Okay. License, come here, young man. Young man from license, go over. Go back over to the presentation area. Can we give this young man his bronze, his bronze medal? His silver medal, sorry. He's from license, Janine Gale. Silver medal, step up on the silver podium. Silver. The In Sports Devon Biscuits Primary Schools Athletic Series is back and hotter than ever. May 4 to 6, Stadium East comes to life as Eastern teams battle for supremacy. May 8 to 10, Central teams take center stage at GC Foster College. May 11 to 13, we go west at Stets. And then the grand final, May 25 to 27, the National Junior Athletics Championships at the National Stadium. The In Sports Devon Biscuits Primary Schools Athletic Series, pride, passion, determination, success. Sponsored by... Oh, I never see that. Dick. <laughs> I never see that word. I never see that. I never see the word caption up there. Yeah, that word. <laughs>
Music St. Richard, 14.15. And the gold medal, the Fair Walker license with a record run of 13.84. Congratulations to the medal winners of the class three boys and girls 100 meters. Now for the 800 meter run open for girls, 12 finalists on track. The record holder, Christasia Pierce is on track. Record time, 2 minutes 37.22. She's in lane one. In lane two, Felicia Compass Rock Hall. And Janelle Davis, New Providence. Lane three. Anna K. Ellis Russo. Lane four, Christina Clark, Harborview. Lane five. Renika Bryan of License, Sonoya Siblis of Harborview. Lane 6, Ryan Kelly C. Fourth. Lane 7, Deanna K. Pinnock, St. Patrick. In lane eight, Kira Lee Holgate, Windward Road, Jayla Brown, and Maria Moody of St. Jude's. On your marks. Stand up. Oh. Welcome back to the In Sports, Devon Biscuit Eastern Region Primary School Track and Field Championships. As we had the luncheon interval a short while ago, we resume with the girls 800 meters. This is an open event. And it's going to be interesting though on the day. I said Jules made a moody. It's also from Windward Road, Jada Brown is in the mix. New Providence is Janelle Davis. And from St. Patrick's is uh, DeAndre Pinnock. And from License is Renika Bryan. And Ellis of Rousseau. And also there Rousseau is, is there. Compass, Felisa Compass of Rock Hall. So, so Rousseau, Rousseau and okay, Ellis is right in the so mix. The and uh, sneaking into that second Pierce position. In second, Compass Rock Hall in third. So Compass of Rock Hall is in third position as they're going on the front stretch. So the young lady from Russell, Anna K. Ellis, still maintaining that top position on this first lap of two. Yeah. So Russell is Ellis. Pierce is in second. And she's from License. Pierce now making a move on Ellis Afraso. Ellis Afraso leading with about 350 meters to go. Pierce of Lysons is in second. And in third, Rockhall's Compass. That is the top three on the backstretch. 
that the top two separating themselves from the rest of the field. This girl's open, 800 meters. So Ellis of Rousseau still maintaining that spot, but Pierce causing the deficit on the back stretch. Now Pierce making a move on the outside. She had a time of 257.22 seconds. Compass is in third. She's also making a move of Ellis. Ellis has dropped into second. Now the young lady from Rock Hall Compass has gone in the second position. But it's Pierce of license. She'll carry the field in the home stretch. She's extending her lead. She's looking over her left shoulder, making her competitors are not close behind. But it's all about Pierce of license with a time of 237.22 seconds to qualify for this final 800 meters open. It's all about Castasia Pierce of license, extending her lead and moving away, heading towards the line. Pierce will gain the gold in the 800 meters. Stop at the clock at 236.52 seconds. Pierce of license, she takes it. 236.52 seconds. And coming through for a second, looks to me like Pinnock of St. Patrick in that white vest came through like a hurricane and it took that second spot. But 236.52 seconds was Pierce of license getting the goal. That's a flash time. The official time not on the board just as yet. But 236.52 seconds is the flash time for Christasia Pierce of license. In second was Yankee Pinnock of St. Patrick's. And we don't see the official time just yet. We don't see the official time just yet. See the flash time. We can tell you though that Pierce is a champion. We have the latest point standings to give you as we await the start of the boys. 800 meters. Let's give you the top 10 in terms of the point standings. Or let's start from 15. Oh, let's go for 10. Let's start at 15. St. Jude's are in 10th. And this is the overall combined team scores, boys and girls. St. Jude's are in 10th with 32 points. In 9th, Red Hills with 38 points. In 8th, Rousseau, 42 points. In 7th, St. Richards with 57 points. And in 6th, John Mills, 68 points. In 5th, Winwood Road, they have 73 points. In fourth, St. Patrick's with 76 points. In third, halfway tree. They have 80 points. In second, Harbour View with 158 points. And the top of top team and the leaders and defending champions. You have license with 196 points. So that's the point started latest. Before that 800 meters, so license the defending champions not only on the eastern side of things but overall the national champions. They're leading with 196 points. Harbour View, who started the day in the top position, they're now second with 158 points. Halfway three, they're third with 80, and fourth is St. Patrick with 76. Two is the so the next event on track is 800 meters open for boys. Here are the competitors. Lane one, Nicole Lippmann, Lawrence So Lippmann is in two, one. Diamond Bryan, Lane three, Nicolai Saunders, license. License in Lane three. Four, Darren and Collins, Red Hills. Lane so Red Hills. Five. They're in four and Harbour View. Lane six, Deshaun Stedman, C4. Simroy Fleming, Dalby. In lane seven, as we look, it's a Tony McCoy license in lane seven. In eight, you have a pair. So the Russell athletes are in lane eight. So Marvel Coke. Of Rousseau and Bob Bognal Bob. of Rousseau also there. And off. It's the start of the boys' 800 meters. 
As you expect a lot of heat in this 800 meters. The duo of Rousseau just going through the back of the pack as Cook, Marvel Cook, and Theron Bognal at the top to the duo of Harborview. They're there, they're settled in second and third. That's Brian of Harborview, and also with him, his teammate, and who is set as well. That's Crossdale. It's an even pack though, the field is spreading somewhat on this first lap. I expect a lot of movements to be made on this opening lap. On coming back on this front stretch. So a lot of action on the track in terms of places. Uh, just jostling for places, the athletes. And then you'll see them actually making a move when they go around for the bell lap. So it's 1 minute and 11 seconds for the completion of the first lap. Not the fastest lap you can find though, to be honest. You want a 105 or 107. Goal for record pace. Well, they're taking their time and measuring themselves, measuring their distance. And it's 800 meters, class 1 boys final. So again, the athletes are just coming around on the back stretch sets in well now the move is now being made so uh, the I with 200 meters to go with 200 meters to go the man from license Saunders I felt the presence of his competitors I went into another gear so it is Saunders of license. And Saunders still maintaining the top spot with about 80 meters to go. The young man from Harbour View, that's Brian, is sit in that third position. But no one can stop the young man from license. Saunders, he will take the gold in the 800 meters open. Saunders, 222.50 seconds for Saunders. Look at the 800 meters, boys open. And what a crowd we're having here on Stadium East. This for the InSports Devon Biscuit. It's all about Devon track and field, the Eastern Devon Region Devon. Primary Champs on a glorious Saturday afternoon.
So after the completion of the 800 meters, we await the start of the 200 meters final. We have the semi-finals in the morning session. On the third and final day, let's in sports, Devon Biscuit. Eastern Region Primary School Track and Field Championships. Let me give you some results that happened so far. Well, guess what? I heard Cida said, Nicole Hecklewood. I call him Henslewood. From Holy Rosary, 12.86 seconds. He was the winner of the boys' class 1, 100 meters. Daniel Douglas of Harford 3 he was second. 12.87 and Daniel Buchanan of St. Jude's he was third 13.03 in the boys class 1 400 meters it was Alfaria Cunningham of Windward Road at the time of 1 minute 00, 00 0.03 seconds Jamoy Donalds of St. Jude's he was second 1 minute 01.41 in third Tyreek Brady of Mona Heights 1 minute 01 this 0.53 seconds mm -hmm. uh, five zero seconds in terms of other events the boys class 2 it says the 100 meters you have Dandre Parker for so 13.38 seconds he took the gold in second Khalil Raymond of license 13.41 and in third Tyree Gordon of Mona Heights 13.67 seconds in the boys class 2 100 meters now the boys class 2 300 meters was won by Daniel Cloves of Red Hills the time of 42.53 seconds which was a record. Second was Chidane Gale of License with a time of 42.72 seconds and in fact in third Aaron War of Jesse Paul with a time of 43.75 seconds. All three competitors went under the old mark of 44.24 and all three gained gold, silver and bronze but the record now belongs to Cloves as he broke his own mark of 44.24 to record 42.51 and then now we'll give you some results coming up but guess what we go back to the track class one girls Let's go to 200 line. meters. Ariana Ludford from St. Richard's, 27.92 seconds. Wilson, and Sienna Wilson from New Providence at the time of 28.11 seconds in lane two. Now Chelsea and Sam was of halfway three is in three, 26.86 seconds. Daniela Clark of St. Patrick's in four, a time of 26.36 seconds. In five, you have Shanika Reed of Harborview. 26.83 seconds. Michaela McDonald is in six with a time of 27.38. She represents Port Morant. In seven, you have Latanya Briscoe of New Providence with a time of 27.71 seconds. And in lane eight, Rihanna Scott of Rock Hall, the time of 27.18 seconds. You have point four eight seconds, pardon me. You have to look out for Clark of St. Patrick's Samuels of halfway three. And also read of Harbour View. There are names four, three, and five. Samuels looked extremely fast this morning from halfway three. She's in three. Clark in from St. Patrick in that white vest. And Harbour Views read in the green neon vest. She is in five. So there's a young man blowing on the track while the race is about to begin. And the gun has set them off for the start of the girls. 200 meters girls class one. Reed gets out well. And moving past McDonald of Port Morant on her outside. Then moving well also is Briscoe of New Providence. But trying to sneak through from halfway three. Samuels. Samuels hits the front like a runaway train. Samuels is extending her lead. Samuels with the duo of Clark and Reed. But Samuels of halfway three. She gets the gold. Summers of half a tree gets the goal, it stops the clock at 27.80 seconds, running into a storm, you may call it here at Stadium East. 27.80 seconds. This for Chelsea and Samuels. And in second should be Clark of St. Patrick's, 28.06 seconds. And in third, 
Reed of Harbour View, 28.10. So Chelsea and Samuels getting the bacon in the girls class one 200 meters final. So this is it for the boys class one. In lane A, you have Jaden Brown of Rousseau Primary, 27.10 seconds. In seven, Dane Gibbs of Harbour View, 27.26 seconds. In six, Delmoy Williams of Pembroke Hall, 27 seconds flat. In five, Daniel Buchanan of St. Jude's, 26.13 seconds. In four, you have Daniel Douglas of Halfway Tree, 25.59 seconds. In three, Anika Henswood, this from Holy Rosie. Guess what? 26.15. He's the 100 meters champion. Deshaun Livingston of Seaside, 27.24 seconds. And Jamoy Donalds from St. Jude's, 27.21. So this is going to be an interesting contest between Henswood and Douglas of Halfway Tree. A showdown, you may call it. But it all matters on the track. Douglas finished second in the 100 meters uh, Henswood but can he turn the tables on this young man from Holy Rosary can half a tree primary Douglas turn the tables over Henswood in a few seconds we will know the 100 meters champion I don't see Douglas though. I don't see Douglas to be honest. I don't see Douglas. Lane 4 is empty. So I see seven competitors. I don't know if he's anywhere else. But Douglas is not there. And that's a huge disappointment. He's a record holder though. And expectations were high for him to turn the tables. So Douglas seems to be out in this boys class one 200 meters final after breaking the record earlier this morning. So Henkelwood and the Garden has sent them off and Henkelwood gets out well also getting out well is Buchanan of St. Jude's on the outside of Buchanan it seems to be Brown of Rousseau. Brown of so good, but here comes Anklewood on the inside. But Brown of so having the slight advantage in lane eight. Now the 100 meters champion, Anklewood, is now gone to the front. Can he maintain the lead? Anklewood is moving and will take another gold. His second individual gold, Anklewood. This for Holy Rosary's gold medalist. 27.26 seconds. This for this young man, Amika Anklewood, or Anklewood. 27.26 seconds. 27.65. It was close. But Canada of St. Jude's finishing in second. 27.65 seconds. First and second. So class two girls, 200 meters, final coming up. You have Odie McCreary from John Mills in one, 29.02 seconds. In two, Tianjo Watson of license, 29.25 seconds. Shamara Lee from Seaforth in three, 29.13. Khalifa Raymond of license in four 27.99 in five Kimoya Baxter St. Patrick 28.79 seconds now you have Ashley Montague from Red Hills in six 28.85 seconds in Kevinese Higgins Alpha 29.24 in seven and in lane eight Kayana Constable of Windward Road 29.98 seconds more known for the 100 meters Constable. Kayana was second in the 100 meters for class two girls. Her sister, 
Not in the three we needed. Kaylee Raymond, Lyson, the record holder. So the constable the ladies. We're first and second in that 100 meters. Now Okeana alone to make the two. She's in lane eight. Athletes on their marks. Class two girls, 200 meters. Have to look out for Raymond of License, who is in lane four, who gets out well. Raymond of License has gone by Baxter of St. Patrick's. And now again, it's somewhat a Montague of Red Hills. Oh, she had caught the field and will leave the field in the home stretch. As she has Higgins and Constable on her outside. Now Constable, who is in second for Windrun Road, is maintaining that second position. But Don Noyle, Raymond of License, Constable in second. But it's going to be Raymond of License taking the gold. And Constable of Windrun Road in second. But the clock did not stop when she went across. But Raymond of License with a time of 27.99 seconds advancing through to the final clocking 28.42 seconds in the final so Raymond of license taking the gold 28.42 seconds and constable from Windward Road finishing in second her time not on the board just as yet class 2 girls 200 meters final congratulations to the young lady this from license all aboard Kayla Raymond on the cards. So the next event is a boys 100 meters. Boys 200 meters, pardon me, class two. So Albert Wilson from Yellas in one, 28.84 seconds. The heel McFarlane from Rousseau in two, 28.93. Andre Parker or so in three, 27.53. You have Kemanik Edwards from Holy Rosary, 20 second, 27 seconds flat. You have Khalil Raymond of License, 27.40 seconds. Raymond is in five. Daniel Glaves of Red Hills, the time at 27.77 in six. You have Chidane Gale of License, 27.95 seconds in seven. And Terry Gorn of Mona Heights, the 27.78. Athletes on their marks. Gordon has sent them away. And a brilliant start it is from Raymond of License. Raymond of License will try to carry the field in the home stretch. He's in lane five, wins the blue. But now making a move is Edwards of Holy Rosary. He's in four. Edwards and seeking through on the inside of Edwards is Parker for so. It's a three. No, Parker off for so has hit the front. Parker, he's the stronger of the three. Parker off for so. He takes the gold. I think Parker takes it ahead of Edwards of Holy Rosary and Rainbow of License. Parker gets the gold. It was extremely close though. So, Parker and Edmonds. But let's go to the officials from our vantage point. Parker may have gotten it. I don't know. Between Parker and Edwards, he slowed up before he went across the line. So we haven't got the official word just yet to see actually who has won that event. 27.74 seconds is the official time. But it was between Parker and Edwards. I don't have the official result just as yet. But the official time is 27.74. So the next event is the 150 meters for class 3 girls and boys. And in the meantime, we'll give you some more results of what took place early on today or this morning. So all the results coming through, the class one girls, 100 meters. And certainly it was won by Daniela Clark of St. Patrick's, 30.24, which was a record. Chelsea Ensembles of halfway three who finished first in that 200 meters a short one ago was second in the one with 13.30 seconds. 
Michaela McDonald of Port Morant was third, 13.55 seconds. In the girls' class 1, 400 meters, it was Savannah Gobey of St. Richard's winning the gold with a record of 1 minute 04.11 seconds. Jada Adam of Harbour View, she was second, 104.66 seconds. Brittany Bryan of Dalvey Primary, 105.04 seconds, she finished third in that event. In the class two girls, 100 meters, you have uh, Tayana Constable from Windward Road, 13.62 seconds. You have Kayana Constable from Windward Road, second, 13.70. And then you have Kayla Raymond of Lysis, 13.78. All three going under the old mark of 13.97, which was held by Tayana Constable. That has disappeared. Tayana Constable still the record holder with a new mark of 13.62. In the class two girl, 300 meters. Shamara Lee of Seaforth, 45.54 seconds. Ashley Allen of License, 45.76 was second. And then Tianja Watson of License was third, 46.22 seconds. And then we switch now to the 100 meters. Class three. Now, Carice King of Lysis was the winner with a time of 14.35 seconds, which is a new record. In second, the Asia Segree of Halfway Tree, 14.36. And then in third, Chantue Green of St. Richard's, 14.58 seconds. First, second, and third. And then on the girls' side, class 4, 60 meters. It was Sanjay Kirkpatrick of Alpha. Winning with 9.39 seconds. Kathalia Roberts of license was second. 9.55 seconds. So thanks very much for joining our broadcast here on Track Alert. So the 150 meters, the next event on the track. We're talking about class three. So Jada Pitt of Rock Hall is in one, 22.28 seconds. Malakia Brown, Harbour View in two, 22.38. Carice King of License in three, 22.11. You have DJ Segree from Halfway Tree in four, 21.64. Uh, she is the record holder. Uh, Shantwe Green of St. Richards in 5, 21.95 seconds. Shania Jakes of Red Hills in 6, 21.90. In 7, Amaria Walk of St. Francis, 22.20. And 8, Yamavina Francis of St. Francis, 22.07. Bleak conditions and windy conditions over Stadium East. This for the in sports Devon Biscuit. Eastern Region Primary School Track and Field Championships. Have to big up the water sponsor here, that Sky Water. Taste that bring you to the clouds. So athletes on their marks. 150 meters, girls class three. Gone has set them up and brilliant start this for Segre of Halfway Tree. Well, on the outside of Segre, looks to be Green of St. Richard's. Green of St. Richard's is moving well. And on the outside of Green of St. Richard's, looks to be Jakes of Red Hills. Jakes of Red Hills have taken full control. And Jakes takes the gold. And coming through for the silver, looks to be Pitt of Rock Hall. But Jakes gets the gold. In the girls' class, 3 one, 50 meters. Jakes gets the gold. And uh, certainly, the celebration is happening for Red Hills uh, Jakes. So, Red Hills Jakes is celebrating. <laughs> and what a celebration it was right here at Stadium East. On 150 meters. Oh, 
And the next 150 meter event is a boy to take center stage. The final 150 meters in this championship. Elaine Wan, Karahim Bowers of Dalvi with a time of 21.81 seconds. Now, Gamalil Young of License, he's in two, 21.82. In three, Malik Douglas of John Mills, 21.53. In four, Davir Walker of license with a time of 21.13 seconds. He's the new record holder. In five, you have Jordan Brissett of St. Richards, 21.35 seconds. In six, Giovanni Dakers Rock Hall, 21.41. In seven, Ricardo Copeland of New Providence, 21.85 seconds. And in lane eight, you have Kai Kwan Burrell of Hope Valley with a time of 21.76 seconds. She, he is in lane 8. The boys class 3 won 50 meters final. That's the next event on the track. The boys are not out just yet. So while we await, the R3 is coming out. See if we can give you one or two more results. Which happened earlier today. And hopefully we can get some point standings to you after the 150 meters so the girls long jump event was won by Kayla Lewis it's an open event of John Bills 4.55 meters you have Sandriana Rodney of St. Patrick's was second 4.47 and Talia Robinson Harbour View were third 4.27 meters first second and third the girls 70 meters hurdles open Kayla Lewis gained another gold from John Mills 11.98 seconds which was a record on the day, Romina Denick Dixon of John Mills was second, 12.10, and Vanessa Poria of St. Richard's third, 12.29 seconds. So, as a wait. The start of the next event with the sun coming out not yet all is glory we're still peeking around though started out extremely hot earlier this morning then the heavens open the showers happening or which happened over stadium east and the grounds of independence park limited that was during the lunch and interval they didn't actually stop proceeding somewhat sent some of the patrons to covers but still, they're back out full force, supporting their respective schools and respective athletes, or respective children. Medal presentation. So the 150 class three boys to close out the 150. For the long jump open for boys, medals being presented by Philip Campbell. I have a couple more events left to close out the day. After the 150 will be the 800 meter sprint medal relay. And the four by two, and then that would be it for the day. So the 800 meters happened earlier on. It was a fascinating event before the 200 meters. On 800 meters, the boys' side, which was won by Nikolai Saunders of Lyson, ahead of Nikolai Lippmann of Lawrence Tavern, and Damon Bryan of Harbour View, in 231.15, 232.57, and 233.62. So, top five after the point standings after the 800 meters on the boys' side, Windward Row, their fifth with 29 points, in fourth, Rousseau with 32 points. In third, you have St. Jude's with 38 points. In second, Harbourview, they have 84 points. And in first, License with 93 points. That's on the boys' side after the 800 meters final earlier today. So on the girls' side of things, Christasia Peart of License, she took the gold. The time of 236.57, which was a record run for this young lady yeah diana k pinnock of saint patrick was second with third part of me because felicia compass 
of Rock Hall. Let me apologize there. Rock Hall's Felicia Compass gained silver, 238.40. And then Diana K. Pinnock of St. Patrick, the bronze, 238.49 seconds. That's out three in the 800 meters. So after the, com after the completion of that, the top 10 in the point standings on the girls' side, Rousseau, their 10th with 22 points. In 9th, you have Rock Hall with 23 points. In 8th, New Providence with 29 points. In 7th, St. Richards, 46 points. In 6th, John Mills with 48 points. In 5th, Winwood Road, they have 53 points. In 4th, Halfway Tree with 62 points. In 3rd, St. Patrick's with 65 points. In 2nd, Harbour View, they have 89 points. And in 1st, you have license with 142 points. So license leading in both categories after the 800 meters run. I'm hoping that we get some updated point standings at the end of the 150. And athletes have yet have not yet come on the track for the boys class three, 150 meters. interesting happenings this afternoon so now the class three boys 150 meters final in lane one Raheem Bowers Athletes are now on the track. Lane two, Damiel Young, license. Lane three, Malik Douglas, license. Lane four, Javier Walker, license, with a record run of 21.13. Lane five, Jordan Brissett, St. Richard. Lane six, Giovanni Dakers, Rock Hall. Lane seven, Ricardo Copeland, New Providence. Lane eight, Burrell of Hope Valley. So the final 150 meters on the boys' side as a reminder of the lane assignments. Bowers from Dalvey in one, Young license in two, Douglas John Mills in three, Walk of license in four, Brissett of uh, St. Richards in five, Dakers Rock Hall in six, Copeland of New Providence in seven, and Burrell of Hope Valley is in lane eight. And moving well from lane four, Walk of license. Walk of license in total control. He's speeding away on the rest of the field. It is Walker of license. He is given a dominant performance as boys class 3, 150 meters. He gets the gold. Walker of license ahead of Brissett of St. Richard's. First and second. He was out of the blocks like a bullet. Walker of license. He's in class 3. But certainly he looks the part this afternoon. The final 150 meters, the next event on the track is a sprint medley relay. And then we have the 4x2 to close out the proceedings here on the eastern end. For the first staging, it's all about the In Sports Devon Biscuit Eastern Regional Track and Field Championship. Primer taking full control on a Saturday.
So we're just awaiting the start of the 800 meters medley relay on the girls' side. But in terms of point standings, though, this at the in-sports Devon Biscuit Eastern Region Primary School Track and Field Championships. Well, they the point standings on the boys' side. It's after the 200 meters. Is for class one, the boys' class one, 200 meters. It was Amico Hanswood from Holy Rosary who won that event at a time of 27.26 seconds. Daniel Buchanan of St. Jude's, he was second, 27.65. And Delmoy Williams of Pembroke Hall was third, the bronze, 27.73. So after that event, the latest point standings, you the top 10. It's on the boys' side. John Mills, their 10th with 24 points. Also 10th is Mona Heights on 24. Then in, then in 8th position, you have Red Hills with 26 points. In 7th, halfway tree, they have 27 points. In 6th, Lawrence Tavern, they have 28 points. And then in 5th, Windward Road, they have 29 points. In 4th, Rousseau with 32 points. In third, St. Jude's, they have 38 points. In second, Harborview, they have 84 points. And in first, you have Licensed Primer, the defending champions. They sit on 93 so points. That's on the girls' side. It's good to see that you're watching this on the boys' side, pardon me. No, on the girls' side, 200 meters. 1.35 is the height of the And I see the 200 meters. This is class 2 200 meters. Kalia Raymond of license won the gold in a record of 28.42 seconds. You have Kiana Constable of Windward Road. She was second, 29.25. And in third, Kevinese Higgins of Alpha. The time of 29.42 seconds. That's first, second, and third. The gold, silver, and bronze. So after that event, the latest point standings. This on the girls' side. We gave the boys a short while ago. Top 10. In 10th, Rousseau. They have 22 points. In 9th, Rock Hall with 23. In 8th, New Providence, 29 points. In 7th, St. Richard's. They have 46 points. In sixth, John Mills with 48 points. In fifth, Windward Road, they have 53 points. In fourth, Halfway Tree, they have 62 points. In third, St. Patrick with 65 points. In second, Harbour View, they have 89 points. And in first, Defending Champions License Primary with 142 points. This on the girls' side, dominant performance so far. On the girls' side, more so on the boys' side, but the lead overall. The defending champions' license are certainly in a gear. Like they are certainly not here to cheer, but more to win it all and go back home. And then they can cheer.
So you hear the noise in the background here of the in sports Devon Biscuit. Eastern Region Primary School Track and Field Championships. That is the point standings we gave you earlier on, but we separated both girls and boys, but the combination having license, the defending champion at 266 points. And then in second, Harborview 177. With two events to go, four events to go, I don't think anyone will catch a license. I think they crowned themselves again the champions this time of the 2023 edition, defending their title. One last year, not only in the eastern end of the island, but also overall. Is it going to be the same story as they told in 2022, or will the storyline change? For well, the penultimate event coming up for boys and girls, the 800 meters bridge medley relay. For boys and girls, and then the 4 by 2 to close out proceedings here this afternoon. This is a wonderful occasion here on the In Sports banner with the lead sponsor, our title sponsor, Devon Biscuit. But then you have to pick up the water sponsor, Sky. Sky Water. As close as Sky Walker, though, but we're not necessarily a fan when it comes on. Uh, So this can be said though before. That what expects to happen on the day is a lot of action which we saw. Expectations were high on the third and final day. So the fact is, with the expectation that high, mm -hmm. and in the meantime, then what is expected came to reality. Now my expectations were not high for license, but it has nothing to do with my expectations at all. What they did, they did and they had to do. They proved their worth today, which indeed was a wonderful thing to do. They defended their title. They showed true grit and determination and certainly class. As we wait on the penultimate event, hearing some news from overseas, Alana Reed clocking 11.01 seconds. Defeating Hodge. Expectations are high. Will she run the senior championship? That's the next question. Her mother saying she's going to college. But will she be around to run that senior championship in July? I run at the senior championship in July. So the 800 meter sprint medley, the first leg is a 100 meters. The second leg is 200 meters. Well, the second leg is a 100. The third leg is a 200, and the fourth leg is a 400. So for the sprint medal relay, 800. Record here is 206.83 seconds. Set by license. As in lane one, you have St. Richards. 217.97 was their qualifying time. We would roll there in two, 220.66. St. Patrick's in lane three, 217.93. Four license, 206. 83 seconds. August Sound, they're in lane 5, 215.35 seconds. Harbour View in lane 6, 214.10. And in 7 is Mona Heights, 
Eight eight or so. The two thirteen, the two fifteen point six four. So the ladies are set in box one and box two. And the first leg is a 100. The second leg, 100. The third leg is a 200. And the last leg is a 400. So we see how a view in six. Mona Heights. On the green in seven or so, in red there in eight. Seven with shots. Red and white in one. Winwood Road in the blue there in two. Writing on the back in three. St. Patrick's in the white vest. In four, you have license blue and red. And in five, August Stone. Only four competitors remaining in the nah, blue. Open for boys. Those are the competitors on hand. The bar now at one point four six meters. Try still. License. So with the athletes being asked to sit down on that first exchange, so what they have done, they have carried out the athletes for the first and second exchanges, ask them to sit down because it's a bit early, 2.29, 2.30. And the scheduled time for the start of this event is 2.40. So will they start on time or start before? Well, they're ahead of schedule. Have been, they've been doing a oh, fantabulous so work out. in He's sports. So only three competitors in it. Officials. So you're not seeing, well, you're seeing it. So Drysdale of License clearing the bar, 1.46. So you just saw Drysdale of uh, License clearing the bar, 1.46 meters. Nice young man now from Windward Road. So Dawkins now of uh, John Mills trying to clear the bar 1.46 his first attempt. Ah uh, no he does not. A little bit untidy with his. Form going over the bar. So Dawkins of John Mills has two more attempts. 1.46 meters is the height of the bar. Boys high jump open. This coach sits in the background. Let's see what's happening again. And second time, still not clearing the bar, 1.46. Young man from John Mills. Let's see what we'll do on the third. But we'll feature that when we come back because it's now time for the 800 meters. This is Sprint Bend Relay. The first leg, 100. The second leg, 100. The third leg, 200. And the fourth leg, 400 meters. Box one, are you ready? Box one, 
show me some right. This is the penultimate event. Line. After this will be the 4x2 after the medley for boys and girls with a 4x2 to close out the Eastern Championship under the In Sports umbrella sponsored by Devon Biscuit. It's a great start for Harborview. Gets out well. They are in lane 6 and they're gained on Mona Heights are in 7. Also moving well is Rousseau who is in lane 8. But the top team USA is licensed and a brilliant exchange this by license. License on the back stretch, moving well. Now trying to sneak through with one road in lane two, but moving well. See it was so on the outside, but license hands over the baton in the top position. They are in lane four. Now this performance has brought the youngsters or the patrons on their feet inside of Stadium East, cruising around the bend. License in second is Harbour View, and in third it looks to be St. Patrick's. That's the top three at the present time. But license, they are in the lead. And they have about an eight meter lead over the team called Winrod Road. He's in second. So license, Winrod Road. Also there's St. Patrick in the mix. And Augusta on the seventh into fourth. So license, the final lap and the final leg. 800 meters sprint better relay. Lysis with about a 20 meter lead. Moving well is Harbour View on the back stretch. They caught the deficit somewhat. Harbour View now gone into second with about 200 meters to go. Lysis with about a 12 meter lead over Harbour View was slipped in that second position. And August Town now gone into the second and one past Harbour View. But Lysis now coming around the bend still with a 10 or 12 meter lead over August Town who are in second. But that is a top two. August Sound is caught in the deficit. Lysen, it seems like she hit the wall. Now, she's gone into another gear. She's now reacting of what the crowd is doing. The crowd is urging her to go faster, to go harder, to push, to try, to do better. And she's doing just that for Lysen, who stops the clock. Uh, 205 on the board. 205, 206, 31. This for license, August Sound is second, Harbour View is third, and Winrod Road is fourth. It's a 206.34 second, that's the official time. So that should be a new record. 206.34 is a new record. It's for license. Oh, they're flying high this afternoon. The defending champions are certainly producing when it matters most. That was time for the girls. It's now time for the boys. We had the girls earlier on. No time for the boys. So still 800 meters. Sprint made a relay. Wow, the crowd has grown at Stadium East. And still growing though on third and final day of the 2013-2023 staging. Not 2013, but 2023 staging. The boys are out. Lauren Stavern, in lane, lane 1, 209.28 seconds was their qualifying time. So Richards in 2, 210.38 seconds. In three, New Day Pharmacy, New Day Primary, pardon me, not Pharmacy, New Day Primary, 205.88. In four, Maxfield Park, 200.66. In five, Harbour View, 203.70. In six, Pember Call, 206.08. In seven, License, 208.73. And eight, St. Patrick's, 208.46. Let us check in through. So our three is a set for the shotgun. I set them away. And getting out well in lane 8 is St. Patrick in the white vest. 
Now try to cut the deficit is Max Field on Harbour View. Max Field, they are the favourites, so uh, they cruise along on that first exchange. They're in and for the time of 200.66 seconds. Harbour View in the neon green vest out in front. Max Field and so the button in the top position. The second exchange, this is the third leg. Max Field cruising around the bend. On the outside of Max Field is Harbour View. They're in that neon green vest. But Max Field carrying the team in the front stretch. Not home just as yet. The next leg will be at 400 meters. Here comes Harbour View once again. And trying to see through on the inside. It looks to be like New Day Primer. So Harbour View, Max Field, a New Day Primer. That is the top three. It will be Harbour View, New Day Primary, and Max Field. And Max Field got the baton and the sneaked away from the two. Harbour View, they have dropped to now third. New day, they are in second, but Max Field, they are the top of the top, in first, on the back stretch. They go. It is Max Field, with about a 10 meter lead over New Day. With a 200 meters to go, they clock 2-0-0 in the preliminaries. Can they better their time? They are the firm favorites to take this boys, 800 meters medley relay. Oh, Max Field, the athlete who runs anchor, is slowing up with about 90 meters to go. Max Field, New Day, but coming through for third, looks to be St. Patrick's. St. Patrick's is mounting a challenge for that second spot. But all about Max Field, St. Patrick now moving into second. Here comes Harbour View back again. They're not going to third, but it's Max Field and St. Patrick, followed by Harbour View. Wow. First, second, and third. And the boys open mid with a 159.57 seconds. That is the time on the cards. A brilliant run from Max Field. 201. 159.57. They clocked 200 in the preliminaries. A faster time of 159 on the cards. And that is a new record from Max Field Primary. So one event to go to close out the eastern leg of the InSport Devon Biscuit Track and Field Primary Championships. And that is the 4 by 2 not only on the girls' side, but on the boys' side. So Lysis will be celebrating from here back to St. Thomas. They deserve it. They are the defending champions. And what a show they have put down this afternoon on the third and final day of the 2023 event. Medal presentation still going on. Heavy breeze blowing over the ground at Stadium East. But the final event is coming up. The 4x2 on the cars. So the final event coming up, the 4x2, and what an event it promises to be. That's it, Richard. That 159.57 is the record for the So we're checking to see if any updated point standings. Giovanni Dekas, Rock Hall. Jordan Brissett, St. Richard. Davir Walker, License. So we have updated point standings to give you. It's out to the 150 meters. Start on the girls' side, 150 meters. The event was won by 
Shania Jinks of Red Hills at the time, 22.20 seconds. And Carice King of License was second, 23.02 seconds. You have Jada K. Pitt of Rock Hall, she was third, 23.03. So, let me give you the top 10 in the point standings after the 150 meters. That was before 800 meters we just witnessed before medley. Top 10, 10 Rousseau, 22 points. Also Red Hills, they have 22 points. In eighth, you have Rock Hall with 29 points. Also New Providence with 29. In sixth, for the, in seventh, you have John Mills with 48 points. In sixth, St. Richards with 50 points. In fifth, Windward Road, they have 53 points. In fourth, Halfway Tree, they have 64 points. In third, St. Patrick's with 65 points. In second, Harbour View, they have 89 points. And in first, License, they have 149 points under their belts so after the 150 meters. So 149, and they went on to win the girls 800 meters right after. So put 12 more points to that. That's unofficially, so I won't give you that just yet. The 150 meters on the girls' side, 150 meters on the boys' side. The event was won by Davir Walker of license. The time was 21.86. Now you have Jordan Brissett of St. Richards. He was second, 22.42. Giovanni Dakers of Rock Hall. He was third, 22.63 seconds. So the point standings on the boys' side. In 10th, halfway tree, they have 27 points. Also Mona Heights. With 27 points. In ninth, Lawrence Tavern with 28. In seventh, you have Windward Road. They have 29 points. Also, John Mills with 29 points. In sixth, Red Hills. They have 30 points. Holy Rosary. They have fifth with 32 points. St. Jude's. They are fourth with 38 points. You have Rousseau. They are third with 39 points. Harborview second. They have 84 points. And License. They are first with 100 at 17 points. So 266 points. That is before the sprint medal relay. The record 154.87 and 4x2 the two coming up now. The next event on track in lane one, St. Richards. So, we're going to give you the point standings lane after this, two, though. Windward the 800 meter sprint medley, lane three, Windward Road, the 4x2, lane four, the Beauty penultimate the event Road. of the championship. Lane five, New Providence. In one, you have St. Richards, they wear red. In two, you have Rock lane Hall, six, blue and gold. Run. In three, Windward Road with the right tick at the back. In four, Harbour View. In five, you have New Providence you know, where they're pink. And in lane six, you have Port Morant. Lane seven, St. Patrick. And lane eight, John Mills. Windward Road not looking too happy though. Four by two, the final female event on the track. In the 2023 stage of the Eastern in sports, Devon Biscuit track and field primary Eastern championships. Primary the final you, female Biscuit event. Thank you to Skywater Purified Water for being our rehydration sponsors or water sponsors. So athletes are standing behind their respective blocks for the start of the final female event of the 2023 championship. Richards. 
In one, rock hall in two, we're on the road in three. On your marks. in four. New Providence in five. Set. Port Morant in six. St. Francis in seven. And John Mills in eight, eight. John Mills gets out well, so to Port Morant. Port Morant going by St. Patrick, thought they were not there. On the inside, New Providence in that pink jersey. But here comes Harbour View, based on the saga. Harbour View on this back stretch of the great advantage. So, Port Morant will handle the baton. It is Harbour View, then Port Morant. And a poor exchange, this from New Providence. So, Port Morant doing well, coming around the bend. But on the inside, they have to look out for Rock Hall. Rock Hall, they are in lane two. In lane six is Port Morant and Harbour View between the two. So Rock Hall on the second leg. They've gone in the top position. Port Morant there in second. Harbour View there in third. But coming through St. Richards on the inside. They're overtaking Harbour View for third. So it is all about Rock Hall and Port Morant and St. Richards. So Port Morant. And Rock Hall and St. Richards. That's the top three on the back straight. Here comes St. Richards now. They've gone by Rock Hall and Port Morant on this penultimate exit. Oh, the young lady, the young lady from Rock Hall fell over. Uh, she's like she's in some pain. But now it's all about the steam St. Richards. They're all alone. Here comes Harbour View on the final exit. St. Richards, she's running in lane two. She should be in lane one. Harborview sneaking through on the inside. Harborview, the stars of the East with football have become the stars of the East with the four by two with an immaculate anchor run from this young lady from Harborview. Harborview first, New Providence sneak through for second, and St. Richards is third. And looks like Night Windows Road finishes in fourth. One minute fifty-five point eight to nine seconds for Harborview. 155.89 for Harbour View taking the gold in this girls 4x2. Rock Hall, the lady, the running that third leg, the penultimate leg. Don't know if she got touched, but she fell awkward. Don't know if she got nudged. But she's in a bit of pain. And right away, short time is there. Have to pick up our organizers, have to pick up our sponsors, Devon Biscuit. And not forgetting about the beverage sponsor the water sponsor in sky water when you drink it you're on the top of the world what a run it was we saw leads been happening over and over again in that four by two now the final event to come up is four by two. Can we get the class champions, Mario? On the boys' side to close out this championship. However, we want to give you the final point standings. As we wait now, we give you updated point standings. This after the 800 meters. So the 800 meters. On the girls' and boys' side now. Let's look at the girls first, 800 meters, the penultimate event. It was Lysis who won the gold. 206.34 seconds, a record to take the gold ahead of August Town, who was second, 210.59. And in third, it was Harborview with 213.48. So after this event, I'm giving the top 10 once again. Rousseau, their 10th. And Riddles, their 10th with 22 points. In eighth. You have Rock Hall with 29 points. In 7th, John Mills, they have 48 points. In 6th, St. Richards with 50 points. In 5th, Winwood Road, they have 53 points. In 4th, Halfway Tree, they have 64 points. In 3rd, St. Patrick's, they have 65 points. In 2nd, Harbour View, they have 89 points. And in 1st is License with 149 points. So 149 points for License. At the end of the penultimate event, an 89 for Harbour View.
That's right after the 800 meters. Sprint medal relay on the girls' side. Now, let's listen to the boys' side. It wasn't Lyson who won. It was Max Park who won. The time of 159.57, a record. In second was Patrick's primary. 201.79 seconds. Third, Harbour View. But 202.79. So at the end of that event, the point standings read for top 10. Halfway three, their 10th with 27 points. So two Mona Heights with 27 points. And seventh, you have John Mills with 29 points. In sixth, Red Hills, they have 30 points. In fifth, Holy Rosary, 32 points. In fourth, St. Jude's, they have 38 points. In third, Rousseau with 39 points. In second, Harbour View, they have 60 or 84 points. And in first is Lysis, 117 points. Well, that's the latest point standings before we just had the 4x2. Box two. Box one. Box two is ready. Box one. Mr. Starter. Girls in lane three and the boys in lane five. On so, the mark. So, in the meantime, the final event coming up. The boys four by two. Sit. And they're off. And a slip there from the boys in lane number five. But the boys are running away with it. This is not the final event. So it's an exhibition event. Four by one ex exhibition the event. The boys and girls. The it's a prep school invitational. So Lady of the Angels, boys and girls teams. So OLA on the third leg. The girls are not far behind though. So, boys, we're ahead of the girls in this invitational event, prep school invitational event. We need the angels coming through to take it. 53.69 seconds. It's an invitational run. With just two teams, the boys and the girls from the same institution, or lead of the angels. We're just checking the points though. All the points tally. And as you see, hopefully we can get things cracking. So I was just checking to see though why the points no the points tally has changed to 161. So 161 for license on the girls' side. On the girls' side, that is. So 278 points for license. They move well ahead of the rest of the field, nearly by hundred points. How about you there, second? No. 181 points. Unofficially, I should add, as with the, the start and the end of the final event, has been a blast this morning this afternoon has been a blast last three days we have seen some great performances from the respective athletes from the east east contains of port london st thomas kingston st andrew on monday through to wednesday will be the central region at gc foster then on thursday through to saturday the western end at St. Elizabeth Technical High and then culminate the final day 25th through the 27th 
the final weekend of the month, it will be the Grand Gala, should I say, the big shebang, the national championship license. Although Eastern champions, they are defending champions of both the Eastern and the entire shebang, the All Island. So long jump, high jump concluded. That's one event to go to close out the 2023 championship. Oh, what a championship we've had. Lysis came into this final day as second place team behind Harborview. However, after the first two finals, that changed drastically. The licenses were not licensed anymore. The license to take over. So the final event is on the cards right now. The boys, 4x2, open relay. In lane 1, you have St. Richards, 2, Holy Rosary, 3, Rousseau, 4, you have Winnard Road, 5, New Providence, 6, St. Jude's, 7, License, and 8, John Mills. In 6, there's a tie, John Mills and St. Richards, 82 points. In 5, halfway, 3, 91 points. In 4... Winwood Road, 94 points. I have to look out. Winwood Road, 151.16 seconds. That's 
the qualifying time. New Providence 151.91. So the final event of the 2023 Eastern Primary Regional Track and Field Championship under the Hit Sports Battle sponsored by Devon Biscuit. At the final event on a many, we see the team called New Providence getting on well, but win one road as blown by everyone has gone to the front of the back. On the back sweat, Windward Road, on the outside of Windward Road, John Mills, there in lane 8, of Windward Road, cruising on that first leg, that was a blistering first leg, now Windward Road on the second leg, John Mills on the second, now here comes Rousseau, trying to make a, a race of it, but Windward Road, they're out in front, Rousseau, they're in lane 3, they're trying to sneak in that second position, on the outside is John Mills in lane 8, John Mills maintaining that number second number two position. St. Jude's now have gone into second. So Windrun Road on his penultimate exchange. But by St. Jude's. So on the inside is St. Richards. So Windrun Road. And then St. Jude's in second. That is the top two. On the back stretch for the final exchange. Point four by two. Windrun Road. But here comes. The team, not Rare Spring, New Providence, fighting for that second spot with St. Jude's. But Windrun Road on the final exchange, they're off, St. Jude's, and then you have New Providence, the top three. Here comes Windrun Road on the outside of Windrun Road in St. Jude's. St. Jude's caught in the deficit somewhat. So Windrun Road is slowing up somewhat. 90 meters to go. St. Jude's, they're trying to go past Windrun Road. They've gone past Windrun Road. No, moving well. Oh, what a performance we see from John Mills. St. Jude's and John Mills. St. Jude's, John Mills, the Windward Road. And followed by New Providence. The top four, 143.97 seconds. St. Jude's takes it ahead of John Mills. And then followed by Windward Road in third. 143.97 seconds for St. Jude's. Getting the gold. In the final event on the track, in the boys' open, it's 100 meters, or should I say 4 by 200 meters, pardon me, in sports, the Devon Biscuit Eastern Regional Primary Championships. 151.07. It's a new record. Erasing the 153 and 151.07. It's faster than Winwood Rose, 151.16. They ran in the preliminaries. And that was the record. So that's a new record to close out the show. But what a show we had here today. The 200 meters took center stage with the qualifiers earlier this morning. Then we had some runs. We had the 60 meters, the 100 meters, the hurdles event, the 4, the 300, the 200, the 150 meters. And then we had the relay made the relay and also the 4x2 but before that before all of that was the 800 meters to cool down the track on this Saturday afternoon to await the final point standings before we end our broadcast here at Stadium East what a day it has been we're not finished with Eastern or we're not finished with in sports just yet or we're not finished with primary just yet we'll be at Central on the final day on Wednesday and then also we journey to the western end on Saturday on the final day. Remember, a reminder though, all finalists get an automatic spot at the national championships. All finalists, top eight, get an automatic spot in the national championship. So you get eight from here in every event, eight from the central in every event, and eight from the Western in every event. That spells 24. However, they won 32. So what they're going to do is actually after that, you have the eight fastest times on the track, 
eight longest distance with the jumps. So the eight best performance after that, a performance sees after that, will gain that last eight spot. Automatic qualification once you make a final in your region for the national championships. However, the last eight will be decided by performances in respective events. So they combine the performances from the east, central and west and see the top eight in every event. See who will go through to the national final apart from the finalists. So 32 for a final. Then we come on to the national championship. At the national championship, you have four heats and then after that it seems like a semi-final then it will be the winner of the four heats plus the next best times or distances so it's gonna be interesting though as you hear the music plays in the background but guess what it's not about it's not about being a winner it's about if you took part if you gave your best if you gave your heart for your respective institutions so that is what it is here as we await the final point standings from those two final events a four by two boys and girls a uh, total before though in terms of results eastern showcase united states alana reed from high del clot 11.01 seconds adija hodge of uh, Montverde Academy was second, 11.16 seconds. Both are excellent young athletes. Both are juniors. Adisha Hall, a little bit younger than Alana Reed, about two years, a year and a half. Avery Lewis, 11.41. Alia Baker from Heidel is more noted for the 400 meters, 11.47. She will be a main threat next year. First year class one, Alia Baker. Chevonee Kazel, 11.80 seconds from Hyde. And you have Catalino Sanchez, 11.85 seconds. In seventh, and Thompson in lane eight, 11.86 seconds. So, guess what? That's the East, but right here, but well, that's over in the United States, and so right here, the eastern end of the island in Jamaica, in sports, took center stage. And center stage they did with track and field at the primary level. And what a show we had for the last three days. Devon Biscuit showcased what they had to showcase in terms of providing funds and all and, and, and nut nutrients for the athletes. But they are the sponsors and will be the sponsors for the next three years. Kudos to them, Devon Biscuits, and kudos to Skywalker, the water provider at the meet, the water sponsor at the meet. When you drink it, it seems like you're floating in the air. So, tabulation going on. We know that license, uh, they have won the title. But in terms of the official point standings, we await that to be posted or that to happen. They said, that, okay, they have won by X amount. But we know, though, we gave them the title um, hours ago, to be honest. So that we're awaiting the final point standings, and most persons here are awaiting the final point standings. As the meet ending on time. This is something you don't normally see. So kudos to the organizers once again. So the final standings not posted just yet. Just to recall, are you still here? And that is holding up proceedings. This afternoon. So the field events also took center stage, a long jump, the high jump, and the cricket ball throw was also a feature on the day. The centimeters hurdles showcased a lot of talent. As we wait now the presentation. And the final award and the final point standings.
for the final point standings. We'll close all the day's activities. And what an activity we have had so far. So the athletes and the parents are sitting down in the stands. So we're the final point standings, as I pointed out earlier on. And some of the patrons are leaving, as you see in your sides. Have to big up Devon Biscuit. Have to big up Devon Biscuit, because what they have done is tremendous. And when individuals do things like that, do not take it for granted. Never take things like that for if granted. If you lost your key, please come to me at the announcing area. If you lost your key, come to the announcing area. So we're joining to GC Foster College on on Wednesday for the final day of the Central Championship. And there's a lot of talent. There's normally a lot of talent as in Central as you see the East. Sometimes maybe even more. So we're not closing out just yet without the final point standings. The InSports Devon Biscuits Primary Schools Athletic Series is back and hotter than ever. May 4 to 6, Stadium East comes to life as Eastern teams battle for supremacy. May 8 to 10, Central teams take center stage at GC Foster College. May 11 to 13, we go west at Stets. And then the grand final, May 25 to 27, the National Junior Athletics Championships at the National Stadium. The InSports Devon Biscuits Primary Schools Athletic Series 